Yo, what's good, guys? It's uh, Grim420 here, chilling. Uh, yeah, I'm just here to uh, show you this uh, rifle I just picked up. It's a, uh, from what the guy says, it's a cha uh, Chinese Mauser. <coughs> As you can see here on the buttstock, there's uh, you know, some Chinese symbols. <coughs> you can see. <coughs> Here's a side view. Then on the other side, it has this <coughs> <coughs> triangle with a crescent moon and uh, this ch a Japanese or Chinese symbol uh, that I don't know. Here's it the right side, side up. Then, uh, I believe that's the guy's name or the company that the, uh, <clears throat> he was from, the symbol. This one down here is, uh, I believe where the <clears throat> actual rifle was, um, what you call it, what station it was at, the person maybe, rank. Fucking who knows. But, um, it says up here that it was made in the 11th Armory in, uh, China. It's actually, uh, from what I know about it, <coughs> from what I've read, <coughs> and seen the double diamond <coughs> symbol there shows that. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. That's from that armory. The, uh, 11th Division or some shit. I, uh, looked it up for a little bit, but, um, not totally sure. I just, uh, found this out this, uh, this afternoon, this morning, before, uh, doing this video. I had this rifle for about two weeks now, something like that, a week maybe. Yeah, so the 26 and 6, which is the 6th month of the, uh, actually the 23rd year of the, that emperor's reign. So it was the, uh, <coughs> <coughs> this was in like 1932, uh, is, uh, when... This is estimated to, uh, <clears throat> let's go, be made. So, uh, yeah, so I believe it's, uh, 1932. Not really sure, but it is one of the first, uh, it's 100, 106,000, uh, 106,003. Uh, that's this, uh, <clears throat> number from fucking, uh, well, I can't see that where this uh, barrel is made. The uh, symbol's a little scratched off. I'll show you. See that circle uh, right before all the letter. She says, uh, where it was made. 
which is uh, the symbol, but uh, yeah, I can't fucking see it. It's too uh, faded off. Um, and then the uh, bolt is actually not the uh, right bolt for it. I'm pretty sure when this was uh, taken from China, this is they probably made uh, all the Americans throw the uh, bolts into a pile, from what I've read. So the bolt is not the right serial number to the rifle, but the stock and the, uh, <clears throat> the barrel is all numbered correctly. It's all fully all, all right. The only thing is the bar uh, the bolt isn't. But it goes to the same rifle. It's for the same year. I think this bolt is actually one of the uh, older bolts because uh, the number is only in the seven seven thousands. So it's interesting. I uh, cleaned her up, oiled her up, so she's, uh, the action's really nice. <clears throat> safety, uh, for some reason when I got it, the safety worked perfectly, and then, uh, after the fifth to sixth, sixth time I un uh, took it off the safety, I just, uh, just jammed up. I can't fucking, can't move it anymore some reason I can't fucking put it to safe. And it, it worked when I bought it, now, like, after not not even shooting it once, all of a sudden it just gets stuck. I don't know, whatever. But at least it's fucking stuck open instead of uh, stuck closed, because uh, it was stuck uh, on safe, I'd be kind of PO'd, because I really, uh, do want to shoot this motherfucker. I just finally got, uh, picked up some ammo, so I'm going to the, uh, range in six hours when they fucking open. So, uh, I'm gonna shoot this baby and see how she works. As I said, it's, a uh, <clears throat> it's a Chinese Mauser type, uh, I forgot the uh, exact name, but as you can see, it's a double diamond, so that means it's from, uh, got the fucking, uh, what was it? Shit. I don't know, I just found out the name of the, uh, whatever. Anyway, so this is, uh, this is my new baby. It's the uh, parent uh, eight millimeter Mauser Chinese from uh, one of the first communist uh, Chinese revolution. So, I was uh, <coughs> looking for a bayonet for her, since it has a bayonet mount, <coughs> but I uh, wasn't able to find it at my local store, but uh, I threw my, my, a couple hundred bucks down on a uh, Arisaka from World War II, so uh, I decided to buy the bayonet for it early, and I asked the guy if I could bring it back if it doesn't fit on the rifle. Said definitely. So this uh, I actually got for fifty bucks. Looks sweet. It's not that much compared to uh, what I've seen some of these bayonets go for. Like Jesus Christ. It's ridiculous. 
So yeah, this baby was pretty, pretty nice out there. Well, I've been waiting to get a Mauser. I was expecting a German one <laughs> to be my first Mauser, but hey, this is a Mauser style bolt action, complete, completely copied. Uh, what's called? From what I've read on the internet so far. Apparently China actually paid the German uh, inventor to give him, them and allow them to use this uh, bolt action for their rifle. So, there you go. That's how they got this. That's how they started uh, manufacturing these for their use. So, yep, this is, uh, this is the Chinese Mauser. Well, I'm trying to uh, <laughs> to explain why I'm randomly bought, bought a bunch of old ass rifles that are almost 100 years old now. Almost. That one is uh, 94, the Enfield. It's a 1917 uh, Mach 1, uh, number 1 Mach 3, the uh, What's called this baby is the Chinese Mauser from uh, 1930 something. So this one's like 60 something. No, like 80 something. Damn, so I got this beautiful beauty. I got this Japanese uh, bayonet, completely authenticated. I uh, checked the uh, what's it called the markings on it. Made sure that uh, uh, there you go. Made sure that they were authentic. Nice World War Two bayonet. Going to. Uh, as I said, I threw some money down on an Arsaka already, so then I got these two babies. I got a British Enfield, and I got this Chinese Mauser, both used in World War II. Um, this one is also going to be used in World War II. <laughs> so, all of these bad boys have probably killed at least one person. thing about this is the reason why I bought, I'm starting to buy these is I wanted to collect all of the infantry out, um, outfits and uh, items like you know like the uh, shovels their pistols to their everything to the pack of cigarettes I'm trying I want to get an, <coughs> all of every single country who fought in World War One. World War Two. Get their whole out. Get up their whole outfit with uh, all items, all weapons, all fucking everything. So this is the start. <coughs> well. The start was, uh, I started this uh, when I was 13, probably actually when I, no, I started buying shit when I was 13. I got the, uh, got an inf uh, U.S. infantry uh, shirt, jacket, I got a couple of uh, helmets, I got three uh, Vietnam helmets. Show you something. <laughs> to 
legit, legitimate uh, army surplus. <laughs> World War Two uh, American. American press. The form completely de stitch. Everything taken off. All patches removed. Trench coats. This is the Enfield's uh, bayonet. It's World War One. As a uh, eight foot magazine it comes out, but uh, the only real reason that they uh, had these come out in World War One was for cleaning. They never uh, actually gave magazines out as clips. They, um, World War One, they, they actually top fed the Enfield, uh, this Lee Enfield, so they would actually have, uh, <coughs> what's called, the, uh, bullet clips. Um, here, I actually, actually can show you around. Anyway, here's a shot cartridge of uh, 303 Brit, and uh, here's a live round. I'm not going to put this baby in the uh, gun for obvious reasons. So, she uh, fits out, <coughs> fits eight, she's a semi-auto. So that's uh that's that. Then you would uh 
I'm about to know on it. Yep. So, uh, as I said, Mach 1, I mean, number 1, Mach 3, the end view. different words. I'm in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. But yeah, so this is uh, my Lee Enfield. Uh, the new boot that I uh, bought today. It's along with this Japanese bayonet. Then we got this uh, Danfield and the, uh, the Chinese mouse. So eventually I'll buy a German one. <laughs> Oh, yep. So that's that. I smoked a uh, Dutch for y'all and uh, showed y'all that. So, hope you guys uh, like that and uh, see you later.